And especially if we walk around in any kind of pack and people are like, oh, 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 or usually start crying when they see me because they find Rebecca like, oh, bless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got a mess of a life. Well done. <laughs> Entertainment Weekly's Three Rounds. I'm Sam Heifel, and I am joined by Ted Lasso stars and Emmy winners and Emmy nominees, Brett Goldstein and Hannah Waddingham. Ta-da! Round one, we are drinking a Hendry X and Tonic. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Ding, ding. Round one. Cheers. Ding, Cheers. ding. Cheers. Fresh. <sighs> Cucumber. That is rather refreshing. Mm. So take me back to the first time you all ever heard the words Ted Lasso. I was called in for a meeting and they said, oh, there's this um, football show. And I immediately, before they'd finished their sentence, went, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have less interest in football if I tried. Which hasn't massively changed, but there we are. Um, so I went over for the meeting and I still didn't know what it was called. And um, rather embarrassingly, when I first met Jason, I went, What's it called? And he went, uh, Las Ted Lasso. And I went, as in Lasso. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, you sound like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Just stop talking, say the script and shut up. Yeah. I mean, Brett you Goldstein. got the job. I think it worked for I you. Know. Yeah. I know, I <laughs> know. Surprisingly, yeah. You yeah. know, I was stalking her for years before the job. He's not really? actually joking. And so when I found out she was in the mix, I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, this. I find stalking. Um, Gentle stalking, you know, sure. no threats. Right. Just <laughs> seeing everything, you know, just being near. Just her. seeing everything she <laughs> yeah. does and, yeah. Finding out her habits, you know. <laughs> and when I heard she was in the mix, I was like, you have to get her because then I don't need to worry about this restraining order and whatnot. And here we are. Right. right. No, but he's not actually joking. He's not joking. Because out. the first day <laughs> of the read-through, suddenly there was this, you know, immaculately hirsute man in front of me, so I've literally watching. seen everything you've been in. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've seen this Hello. show. I've seen you in the shower. I've seen <laughs> <laughs> everything she'd ever done. Yeah. I mean, thank God he was hot. Otherwise, I would have had to have a word with him. Right. <laughs> yes. But, Brett, you first heard the words as a writer, obviously. Yes. I first heard the words Ted Lasso. I, I think I knew the original um, sketch yeah. advert because I'm a Tottenham fan. So I actually heard of it long, long before, and then one day, Bill Lawrence called me up and said, what are you doing? Yeah. And I said, I'm busy. What do you want? And he said... I'm busy stalking <laughs> Hannah. Yeah, so I'm outside Hannah's house. <laughs> <laughs> what, I haven't got time, what do you need? I said, she'll be home any minute. And uh, he, he said, there's this foot, we're, right, we're about to make this foot show with Jason Sudeikis, and uh, I, I think you'd be great for it, but you need to meet Jason and see if you get on. And, me and Jason had a FaceTime at like one in the morning it, for like an hour and a half. And I just sort of fell in love and I was like, oh, I really hope this happens. And then it did. But at what point in the writing were you like, I got to play this Rory guy? Well, I think it was the scene where he bumps into Keely at the, in the car park at the end of five and scares her. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, sorry. She says, you well, you're proud of yourself. You know, and he's like, oh, sorry. And I thought, I don't know, it was around then I was like, this is the guy. You're like, he's scaring women in car parks. Are you serious? It's me. Take you back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think it was... Are you serious? It was, you got that far in? Because all the time I kept thinking, could I do this? Could I do this? And that, I don't know, it was around halfway through, I thought, I have to do this. I can't imagine anyone else on no. God's earth playing this part. God bless you. Same to you. Cheers. Hey, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Ding, ding, ding. When was the moment you all realised that this show was a hit? Like, did you have a moment where you thought, Oh crap, this is like going to be a thing. When it came out. <laughs> I think season, For me, sure. was it? It was when it came when out. It came out. Sure. I remember you and I having a little conversation about. No one will watch it. It's on Apple TV. <laughs> People don't have Apple TV. No one's going to watch this. Yeah. Behind the craft truck. Sure. Didn't we? I thought no one would watch it. You and I were like, I thought that it's too. been yeah. so nice yeah. that we've all got to know each other. We've had a lovely time. But no one's going to watch it. Yeah. Didn't we? 
people didn't know how to get Apple TV. Yeah, My no. parents didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. And they kept asking me, how do we get this show? I was like, I don't really... Even if it was amazing, no one's going to watch it. Yeah. And then, of course, there's that thing of once, once you see it all beautifully spliced together, you're like, oh, my God, I'm in something that's really going to change things because mm -hmm. I don't like watching myself in things. Sure. So I was zipping through me, getting to all this lot and thinking, oh, my God, for the first time ever, I'm a fangirl of something that I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. When did the first time, like, a stranger wanted to talk to you about Ted Lasso? Was that after season one? That was here. <laughs> I think it was here yeah, first, wasn't it? Here. As yeah. in Los Angeles. Yeah, okay. here, 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 this country. Not this bar. This uh, yeah. country. Yeah. Yeah, here, definitely, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You and me walking right. along and being like, ooh, <laughs> things have changed. People recognise us. Yeah, yeah. it's so yeah. odd. And especially if we walk around in any kind of pack, it's, yeah. it was really weird. Like, you, me and Jeremy going out. Sure. And people are like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> or usually start crying when they see me. Because they find Rebecca like, oh, bless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a mess of a life. Well done. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And then, like, you know, man, woman, yeah, and beast go. What's the reaction Woo! to Roy Kent? Uh, Probably growl at me. Get, growl for me. Uh, Do people growl at you? No, no, no. Like, I'll tell you the, the best growl. interaction that I've had. I was with Phil Duster, who plays Jamie, and this American guy with his government was off his face on saying he came, came up to me and he went, hey man, you know I can get some drugs? And before I was recognised for being Roy Kent, I used to always get asked for drugs because I look, pre so I look like a, I'm the guy you go to for drugs. <laughs> and he went, he, he, he showed me drugs. And then he stopped and he went, man, you look like Roy Kent. <laughs> and, and I went, oh, that's weird, isn't it? And he went, yeah. Anyway, where can I get drugs? And I said, I think if you go over there. And he went, that's weird. And then he walked past Phil and he went, you look like Jamie Carr. <laughs> oh and Jay went, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? And he went, wow, wild. And then walked back to his girlfriend and just said, these two drug dealers look like <laughs> 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 We are drinking the Melanie. The Melanie. Ding, ding, Cheers. round two. Cheers. Ding, ding. OK, well, we did mention in round one, we mentioned the growl, which I do want to ask about. Was the growl scripted? Was that something you brought to Roy Kent? And does it not bloody hurt? Because it sounds like no. it does. I don't know how you've never lost your voice with that. We were doing a scene the other day, and he was just like, <laughs> like he is. And honestly, Juno and I looked Thanks at each other writing. and just went, how do you do that? It's a real gift. Uh, <laughs> uh, I honestly don't know the answer to that growling question because I think I would hate to take any credit away from any of the writers. I feel like it's, it started as a thing and then became a thing in the scripts. How much improv is there on the set? Probably less than you Next might imagine. Next to nothing. I think what we do, certainly what Jason and me and Joe Kelly and Brendan and any writer who's there on set will do like almost like pre-improvising, as in this, we have the script and we'll talk before we shoot. What about this, 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 this? And then that becomes the thing that we shoot. And then we'll often shoot Jason last because then he will do some amazing <laughs> that you're like, once we've got, once everyone else, yeah, we've which is let actually do. quite annoying because you think, well, I would have reacted differently to you now. <laughs> now you've just gone <laughs> like a Tasmanian devil. But it's so true about the kind of pre-improv thing. The one thing I always get involved with is anglicising Rebecca to death. Mm. Mm. You know, there'll be things like, oh, I don't know, I guess, and I just think, absolutely not. <laughs> she doesn't talk like that, for God's sake. <laughs> and I think they've learned now to just go, yeah, just do what you want with it. Yeah. Although there are a lot of things where I'll say to Jason, do you not think because this and that and this happened in ep one of da da da, da and that happened in ep four of season two and, and he's, you know, rubbing the tash of truth. <laughs> and he just goes, sometimes he'll go, oh yeah, okay. Most of the time he just goes, no. <laughs> he carries on, I just think, oh, okay. <laughs> Pick your moments, yeah, definitely, yeah. with sure. him. What is you all's favorite scene that you are not in? B sort of background of this scene. Sure. But it's the scene where 
Hannah's singing Let It Go and Jason has a panic attack. Sure. I am in that scene yep. and I am just you mouthing know, words. Yeah. But if you remove me from that scene, I was witness to that. Okay, if I can't have that scene, here's the scene I went in. It's the best scene. God. And it's when she confesses to Ted and he mm. forgives her and they hug. And I was there. And when they did the rehearsal, the first rehearsal of it, I had a tear. We all did. It was amazing. Did you? Yeah, it was beautiful. That was really, like, that's when I was like, she's going to win an Oscar. They don't even have Oscars for this. <laughs> <laughs> the scene for me in um, season one was probably the one with Jason doing the whole uh, left left leg, right leg, all of that. Do you remember that? What yeah. scene is that? <laughs> Aren't you in, in that? The river? <laughs> yeah. No, I am in it, but I love what he oh, does sure, sure. in it. Jason's work on his anxiety attack. Oh, sure. I think is absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. and could be so easily overbaked or underbaked for that matter. Mm -hmm. But it was really a, a delicately thought out little. It was beautifully baked. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So will you go back and watch it once it's fully done? Maybe a long way down the line, but I'm really genuinely, in all seriousness, massively struggling with the end being imminent. Well, because you all have filmed three, right? Or are you still working on it? No, we're, we're in the middle of shooting. You're in the middle of three. shooting. Yeah. Does it feel different because of knowing that? Yeah, it does, for me. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think I felt that way from the beginning. You know that thing of, uh, I mean, this is very serious. Uh, I've done this like a thing called ah, something nostalgia, but it's like present nostalgia, that you're loving something so much that while you're enjoying it, you can't enjoy it because you're worried about it ending. You know it's going to end. That's how I, pretty much how I felt from the beginning on this job. Yeah. I keep having to be like, stop thinking. Just I'm so grateful for it. I love it. Yeah. And I'm so sad that one day it will end. And I think I've always felt that. All the cast, supporting us, it's all of us that are very much AFC Richmond together. I feel like we have that thing. We're all aware that we're in this beautiful, delicate jewellery box that we're never going to be able to replace. Mm -hmm. It's an absolute world, isn't it? It's a full greyhound little island and we all treat it with precious, precious love. And it is a very bloody happy ship. And also putting down, you know, no longer walking next to your character. Sure. Mm. I really can't cope with that at all. Leaving, leaving her to, I don't know, go where, do what, do her own thing. Yeah. 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 Well, do you know? I don't you like know it. how it ends, because you. But like, do you know how it ends? Or I did you not want to know how it ends? Okay. But it's entirely possible that Jason will have spun me a load of bollocks <laughs> just to stop me talking about it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'd be true. That'd be true. Well, I mean, no spoilers, but I will ask you, Brett. Yes. How many times did you cry writing the final season? <laughs> that uh, three. Okay. Wow, that's specific. I was very tired. <laughs> <laughs>
have I? I think so, yeah. God, he's got such an annoying superpower. <laughs> But also, it could oh. also be cut. Oh, God. So that's why I shouldn't tell so you. So that's, that's what I want. And also, I'd like, I'd, I'd like there to be something more juicy uh, with Keely. Because mm. that is so precious to me and Juno, yeah. that little, separate little family. Yeah. Brett, did you have a bucket list when you went into the writer's room? Maybe that's a better question for you. I'll try and give you a fake answer, yeah? Sure. My bucket list was major injuries in the final game. <laughs> and Roy, there's, they've run out of football and Roy on. has to come on and score He's the winning goal. Knee. And um, And they said, that's ridiculous, get out. <laughs> Did they say you're old, you can't run on the pitch? No, they just said it would technically not happen as a rule, you can't really just uh, grab people off. Was that know. Brendan and his annoying, yeah. endless, You can't just get someone out of the, the crowd, bridge. essentially, and go, do you want to, can you do it? Yeah. It's not King Ralph. <laughs> And as you know, it's a very realistic show. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. All right. This has been Entertainment Weekly's Three Rounds. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for having us.